Well, today we're going to try not to destroy this already pretty rough Macintosh SE30. So I picked this thing up, and you know, one of the things about how I get all of these old computers and electronics is I just make sure people know I'm that guy. You know what I mean? I'm the guy that collects that stuff. People have this stuff sitting around in their basements or their attics, and they don't know what it's worth. And a lot of times, you know, if they know that you're interested in it, you're going to take care of it and maybe give their old thing some extra life, they're willing to say, yeah, sure, you can have it. So I actually got this for free from a coworker of mine who said, uh, hey, you think you would like that? I said, heck yeah, I'd like that. And uh, it was really cool. I got the, the background on the, the machine. You know, the, he used to use it for work. Um, and he was really excited because he was able to set up a system where they could do reports. And then they could send those reports electronically. And they would just be instantly there instead of mailing them over. So I, these are, that's the things that... You know, we lose about technology sometimes today is that, you know, not everything was instantaneous uh, back in the day. So we're going to go through this and uh, check it out. It does power on, and I'll, I'll show you what it does here, um, but the hard drive is definitely, definitely dead in it. So let's take a look here. We'll go ahead and plug it into some juice. And we'll see. Sometimes it fires up, sometimes it doesn't. And the goal for this. Uh, it's going to be A, get the battery out of it, and B, uh, make sure that we start pulling the caps off the board. Um, I've got some new capacitors coming, and we're going to recap this thing. And we should get the question mark uh, disk symbol here because the hard drive in this thing is D E A D dead. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, but the fact that it gets this far, I think, is a pretty good sign of things to come. So I'm excited to uh, tear into this thing. I had to get uh, one of the old Mac crackers, so we'll get this thing cracked open. We'll take a look inside and see how bad it is. These things have batteries on the motherboard that are notorious for just melting everything around them. But the fact that we've got this far makes me think that not all hope is lost and that we can uh, bring this thing back to life. So we'll power it down, we'll uh, open it up, and we'll take a look. Okay, so I've never actually opened up one of these compact Macs uh, before, and so we'll see. And this this plastic, you can see right here, uh, this is where from storage or something had scraped it. It's it's really yellowed. So this is this case, it, while it's not cracked or tore up, is really yellow. So this would be a good candidate for some retro bright, um, which I want to do at some point. Also, another thing that I've never done before. Um, and I could watch a bunch of YouTube videos and so could you, but, uh, instead we're just going to flounder through this and make all the mistakes and, uh, and hopefully, uh, just accidentally fix it. Uh, so I've never opened up one of these. I did have to order a tool. Uh, this is a T15 Torx extension. And so it, uh, it's going to help us get down inside the handle here and bust this bad boy open. And again, I've never opened one of these, so we're just going to have to go at it. It looks like there's four screws, um, so maybe there's only four, maybe there's more, I honestly don't know. Uh, we'll start with the easy ones though, really just you know start building some confidence you know, so that we can really take on some of the harder stuff, fool ourselves into think we're doing a good job until, uh, you know, until the end result proves otherwise. So these way down in there. Oh, it bit. I can feel it turning. That's a good sign. Okay, and this one, see if we can get in there. I don't think there's one in there. I think they forgot to install it. Oh, wait, no. Oh, there's a spider nest in there. That's nice. 400,000 baby spiders. Oh, there we go. It's turning. It's turning. All right. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Mm. T15 Torx. So do we just slide it off now? Is that all that it takes? And shake it? 
Are you gonna take the bottom off? Are there screws in the front? You just shake it. You got a cuss at it? Oh, there we go. All right, I'll be honest. The spider thing kind of freaked me out a little bit. So, here's hoping that there's not like, I don't even want to say it out loud. Okay. It's not completely disgusting. Uh, let's take a look in here. Honestly, it looks fairly good. I mean, there's no super signs of leakage unless, unless you know that's what all this is. And that. And, you know, the stuff down here. But other than that, sure. Okay, what's our game plan here now? I think it looks fine. I don't think it's actually broken. All right, let's turn it around. So, I mean, this can kill you. That can kill you. Most of the stuff down here can't. Now, I think that these motherboards, they just pull out, don't they? Like, I think you've got a little shield here that comes off. No spiders. That's in really good shape, honestly. I'm feeling better about the prospects of this all the time. And this should just pull out, shouldn't it? Oh, we got cables. We got cableage down in here. Well, what the, what in the world? So right in there, you can see it. That is what uh, nukes a lot of these things. That is the, what is, are they nickel? Hydride, nickel, cadmium, nickel, pickle tickles? I'm not sure what they are, but they are known for wiping these motherboards out. At first glance, it didn't look too bad, but we gotta figure out how to get this motherboard out. Right. What's the deal? What's the big idea? We're hitting on something. Alright, that was a bad idea. I'm just going to start unplugging the stuff I can reach. Hey, we got that out. Power cable. It probably has a notch on it that I can't reach. Let's see if we can pull this out a little further now. That side's good. Why don't you want to come out? You know, there's no reason for this not to slide up. Well, that didn't help me get to this cable any easier, but the board is free. So now it can bang around in there and just knock all the components off. And that's less components that we have to remove later. I'm just going to pull on this cable really hard and see what happens. Slide down. And yank. And yank. Hmm. Hmm. How in the world? I'm taking it back out. Well, i got to stick my hand into the danger zone. You know, uh, a person could potentially just discharge all of these super dangerous components, but I don't, we did it. That was easy. Well, I mean, it's dirty. And, um, she got some RAM slots open. We could upgrade this thing. Let's get this hunk of junk out of the way. We'll set this down, take a closer look. Okay, so I've looked at this for about four seconds, and uh, everything seems fine so far. Uh, let's get this guy out of here. So this should just have some little tabs that pop off. I mean, everything is super dirty, but, I mean, two more seconds of this battery being in here could be the end. Let's get a little screwdriver. Oh, God. There we go. So let's just take this... Make sure that you're working completely in the shadow so you can't see what you're doing. And this could uh, completely break this plastic. 
And if you're lucky, it will just slide right off and actually, you know, scrape some scrape some of these ICs off or something there. Let's try going at it from this side. What do you think? Just need to get a little bit under there. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on. Holy cow, will you look at that? That's not that bad. That is not half bad. There's a little dead uh, critter in there. I don't know, this board looks pretty good. Now there is some corrosion going on down here. And there is some corrosion. You can kind of see it along the sides of the board. But I don't know if that's... I mean, it's not that bad. And I bent, I bent these little pins a little bit. I'm trying to get that out. We can... Look at that. Already fixed them. So would you look at that? The old Varda. Six volt, October 1988. Still kicking along. Pretty incredible. So I, I know what a lot of people do is they'll take this thing off and they'll uh, solder in a little receptacle for a coin battery. And I can see our 2032 or 2333,000. I'm not sure what they're called. Uh, but I'm just going to put another battery in here that will uh, probably last way less time than the than the first battery. Get out of there. Let me go this way. Yeah. Way less time than the first battery and probably leak all over. So, uh, Tyrone! Tyrone makes good batteries. That's how you can tell right there. But, uh, yeah, same size, so... Let's just put it in. Make sure we put it in backwards. No, let's not do that. I want to make sure though that this Tyrone can be seen after I'm dead by the next person. But one thing we should do is we probably should clean this up a little bit so we can uh, inspect a little bit, just look for anything bad. I think the only thing wrong with this is a dead hard drive, but let's just take a little closer look. Get, get. No one likes you. Was this already like that? Yeah. So, well, let's take a little closer look here. Uh, let's especially look so that we do have a little bit of corrosion down here on this uh, little IC here uh, that's starting to work. It is, it's nothing that is looks absolutely awful but we gotta get that cleaned up. Um, other than that there's nothing that really jumps out to me immediately. Again we gotta clean this board a little bit better. But Let's look around these capacitors here and just see what we got. I mean it doesn't look great. You know, there's some some fun stuff starting to happen here. I mean, I I have to think there's been way worse than this. You know, there's a little fuzz growing on some of the legs of these chips. You know, right down in here. But everything looks pretty solid. You know, we got some more right over here. Come on, baby. Um, so we're going to hit this with some vinegar. You know, this is coming out. All of these little surface mount capacitors are coming out. And we'll get those swapped out pretty, pretty easily. <laughs> I've never done it before. Um, and I'm not going to I'm not going to replace these with more surface mount capacitors because 
I don't know what I'm doing. And people say to remove these, you just twist them. That sounds terrifying. We'll have to <laughs> see see how that goes. Um, yeah, that was not as bad as I thought it would be. Getting that battery out there is the, out there is the big one. Um, let's get these things off. We'll just go for it. We're just going to go for starting to take some of these guys off. Or should we wait? Maybe we should wait. You know what? Let's take a lot of pictures of this thing first. That seems like that might actually be the prudent thing to do. Um, I've got a list of the capacitors and the values, but you know, it's always good to at least take a picture of the way it was when you started so that you can put it back together if you want. Listen to this. I love those little, little switches. So fun. So far though, pretty happy with how this is looking. You know, a uh, person should probably try to do this for the first time off of the camera so that if I make any mistakes, um, I can hide them from people. But I'm just going to do it uh, here in front of, well, everybody. So they say just, just twist them. That's what they say, huh? I mean, they do, yeah. Heck, they twist pretty easy. Should we continue to twist? Oh, this is making me uncomfortable. Oh, I don't like it. <laughs> How about we just use our fingers? Okay. We've destroyed it. That's good. Um, the base is still on there. We're just gonna, we're gonna leave that on there and we'll just hit it with some solder. The soldering iron here. And see if we can pull that off later. Can we just use our fingers on all these? No. No, I can't. This is maybe the most terrifying thing that I've ever that I've ever done on a piece of electronics I heard a snap let's see that one came all the way off let's take a look let's see if I we can see this one so we can see if I destroyed it I don't think so look at that I think that worked slicker than snot there is, you can tell. There's some fuzz growing in there. So that was, uh, that was leaking. We were going to take pictures of this, weren't we? Damn it. Let's put everything back. No one saw anything. Yeah, that was like that. Yeah, you were sure. Um, we're going to take this back out. That was fun. Tyrone, you can hang on for just a second here. Because uh, I want to get all these capacitors off. We're just going to do the little snip snip on that guy and a little snip snip on that guy and then um, I think we're gonna wash it so let's go ahead and get uh, let's get bold let's go for this one right by the processor right by the heart I don't like it I still don't like it it doesn't feel right it feels like I'm hurting it like you know when you take your kids in to get shots and you know it's for their own good right but it's still like it still kind of sucks as a parent watching them get that get that shot and be in pain and it's your fault you brought them there you loaded them up in the car promised them ice cream said that oh yeah let's go you just gotta go get uh, just a little checkup it's just a checkup don't worry and then next thing they know booster shots oh no all right we gotta come at this from a better angle I'm absolutely 100% terrified. I know that I'm going to take these off and then I'm going to forget to put one or two of them back on. But we got the pictures now. That one was a little juicy. You know, you want to make sure you get the tip of your pliers on and really scrape. No, you don't want to do that. I'm being gentle. It doesn't feel like I am though. That's for sure. I did order some surface mount capacitors to replace some of these, but I'm not confident enough, I think, to uh, put those bad boys back on. Hey, my laundry's done. Ooh, we almost got another one. Let go. Let go. You gonna stay on there? You can stay on there. It's fine. Hey, don't bother me. 
Look at that little guy. Whoa, okay. You have an attitude. You just need to you need to chill out. There, see? When you cooperate, nobody gets hurt. How many have I done now? Nine? Yeah, this is number nine. It doesn't feel any more right than the first one, but just go for it, I guess. All right, look at this little guy here. Sorry. These, uh, do these have the little plus and minus on them? Yeah. Yeah, they do. I probably should have taken better pictures of that. It's fine. No, don't throw the trash on the motherboard. Let's do this one. Just right out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yeah. You're coming off. Now, see, that one felt fine. That one, I, I feel like, is, uh, you know, really confident in. And it, it's probably going to be the worst one of them all. Stop it. That one came off really easy. Just let it do it on its own time. You know, when it's, when you're ready to fly and, and move, then, then you're ready. But you don't want to pressure people, because then... You can really just push them away. That's fine. So one of the legs, those negative side legs, they seem to snip up pretty easily. They're definitely the first ones to go. And then the positive side, that holds on a little bit longer. I think that's all the surface mount ones. That's awesome. So there's all the old ones. They're all off. And, um, you know, they can tell that they were they were starting to leak. Um, but they don't, they don't look horrible, even, even this little guy here, you know, there you go, you know, he just, he was doing his best, but he was starting to leak a little bit too, so, we're good, we're good there, uh, we need to snip these guys off here, this one, and this one, because those can be problem children as well, and you're gonna love what I'm going to do here because I couldn't uh, find any axial uh, mount capacitors so we're just going to put regular old radial mount ones on there it's going to look great so what I realized actually works better than the solder is you just, you just take your thumb and kind of wiggle those legs back and forth that didn't come out the first time boom they're gone uh, see, all right, let's try another guy. There's one right there. Now we could hit that with some solder. Try to get that off there, but let's just, uh, boom. Looks great. Who's left? Who wants some? Let's see, we got a bunch right here, so. One leg left. That's all those positive side ones, too, so. Just a little wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, time for school. Let's go. Wiggling, wiggling. This one's a little tougher, but you know, eventually the kids get up and they go to school. Sometimes they say they have the sore throat, but if they're not running a fever, you kind of just got to send them anyway. All right, there we go. Look, that's so much better than applying 9,000 degrees to the uh, the board and really <laughs> really messing things up uh, alright let's snip that out of there you know out of all my tools these are the ones with the longest legs because these are always running away holy cow I can never find these what you missed was 20 minutes of me walking around my house going out to the shop back into the house until I found these and, and my kids, they love to grab these things because they're like, oh, these are, look at that. It's a bird. Oh, it's scissors. I can cut things. And then the terrifying thing, thing is I never find what they cut. They're probably cutting phone lines and electrical cables. And I just, I, I don't even know until it's all said and done. But let's snip this out of here. Let's get this done before these things get lost again. Well... Come on. There we go. And I'm going to go this way. Boom. 
what did you, there you go, just hit the video RAM, that's a good idea, that's the ROM, we don't need that, look how clean that is, wow, I wonder if we can get this whole board, god, no, we're going to just destroy it, alright, let's get this one out, and, nope, you're not going to do it, are you, there, um, well, then let's see if we can get these little guys to come out, these little legs. I don't think they will, but we're going to try it anyway. Yeah, they say you should really hit this with some flux first. I think is what they say. I say they're probably right. I think they're just fine in there. I don't think we need to take them out at all. So what I want to do... I'm going to grab a hold of this guy here. We're going to come in from the back end. Nope. I don't know if this is a very good soldering iron. Or if I'm just not very good at soldering. Or desoldering. So we're just going to leave it. For now, um, next step, we're going to get this board cleaned up. Uh, go through it really, really close. And look for any obvious signs of corrosion. I mean, really, this right here, to me, to my eye, again, your eyes are different than my eyes, but this looks to be about the worst of it. And if that's the case, I think we can live with that. All right, so I think I'm done for now. We're going to get that motherboard cleaned up. Uh, my capacitors should be in here in time for the weekend, so that's going to be kind of my weekend project, put those new capacitors on there, um, and then I have a SCSI to SD that I'm going to be able to use, hopefully, to get this thing going, uh, get the drive working again, and get the uh, operating system installed, and all that fun stuff, so we, I want to play some mini golf on this thing, that's what I want to do, so... Uh, we got uh, all that there. The tube looks fairly good. Uh, I didn't hear any sound or anything, so we'll have to try that, but uh, hopefully so far so good. So uh, we'll get everything cleaned up. We'll get everything ready and prepared, and uh, hopefully in the next video uh, we can start putting stuff back together. Is that a good idea?